What is up guys, Zero it is your boy Kagi back at it again with the new video and in this video I bring you the Kuroro airdrop. I'm gonna give you all the details you guys need to know about this airdrop. This game is on the Arbitrum network under the Treasure DAO ecosystem. So let's jump right into it. I am very, very bullish on this game. So let's get this video started. Now make sure you like, make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into the video. All right, so first thing you need to know about Kuroro is that it has two game modes as of right now. We have the Kuroro Beast Pro, which is a PvP arena with your creatures. And we also have Kuroro Wilds, which is an adventure mode with your creatures. This adventure mode is something similar to the Pokemon games that you guys would play on your Game Boy. And that is my favorite game mode right here. This is the one I am really, really looking forward to. Now, this game is on the Treasure Dao ecosystem. The Treasure Dao ecosystem is under the Arbitrum network, powered by the magic token and the magic token is also going to be a chain on their arbitrum as well but as of right now there is no chain it's just an ecosystem where you can spend your magic in many many games they have a lot of games if you want to get magic you can get in suchi moonpay binance coinbase and as you can see they have a bunch of games right here um, and kuroro of course is one of those so if you want to get involved with the arbitrum ecosystem you want to go to chainlist.org and you want to add arbitrum one to your metamask to do transactions in arbitrum you're gonna need some eth on the arbitrum network you can buy that in any exchange and as you withdraw that eth just make sure you tell the exchange that this is going to arbitrum and this is going to populate in your wallet you don't need a lot it's very very cheap the arbitrum network we're talking about cents when you buy the magic token as well when you buy it you can use the same ethereum address that you have you copy this boom and you put it in the exchange wherever you buy it all right, so let's take a look at the airdrop, ladies and gentlemen. So we have the Kuro distribution right here. We got play to airdrop 7% for the community. Basically, anybody can actually play in the play to airdrop. Anybody can join. Then we have origin staking. These are the origin creatures in the game. If you stake them, you do get a portion of that 10% airdrop, which is 10 million tokens distributed to everybody that has staked origins month by month. Then we have the origin airdrop, which is straight up an airdrop, no staking required. And then we have a 38% for other initiatives that will come later on as the game develops, right? Then we have contributors, we have the team 15%, treasury 15%, investors 10 percent so we're talking about at 100 million tokens in total um, for the kuro ecosystem so we're here we have the orange beast origin beast have a total of 6600 in circulation then we got the regular beast and these you cannot stake so that is the difference between the origin and the regular beast so if we go to the treasure down marketplace we can go right here kuroro beast we can go to collections and we can see kuroro origin beast there's 6600 like i said before for. and right here you can see the different type of uh, rarity we got core rare and epic obviously the higher the rarity the better for the airdrop and i'll show you guys my dashboard right now so i'm gonna go right here to the kuroto airdrop page i'm gonna connect and as you can see i have one two three four five six seven eight nine of them staked um, i have a bunch of epics right here i have one two three four five epic stakes and one of those epics is actually a lucky epic meaning that it has a different color right here it's kind of like a shiny and that gives you even more rarity for the drop so the higher the rarity the better for the drop so as you can see i have 63 right here 64 right here 78 right here and i have 121 right here because it's a lucky one and that adds to the rarity now down here i do have some beasts that cannot be staked because they're not origins they might be part of the play to drop so there are some badges that you can earn by owning some of this piece all right so let's talk about the free to play airdrop a hundred percent free and this is what i like about this right you can onboard a bunch of players you guys watching if you don't want to spend a lot of money the free to play airdrop is the best option for you so let's jump into that you can actually earn through events through badges through achievements so if we go back to the dashboard you can see there is a leaderboard for that airdrop now how do you increase your leaderboard points you're gonna go to badges right here and you're gonna see that there's certain things that you can complete to increase your airdrop points so right here we got discord connecting discord connecting twitter um actually playing the halloween 2023 event which is available right now you can actually go to play now up here and if you go to play now and you play this halloween scape 
um, you gotta get three uh, pumpkins out of the scape and then you get this achievement as you can see i have one pumpkin out so today i'm gonna play and get some of those pumpkin outs so i can complete this achievement we also got the collector badges that also give you points towards the leaderboard if you own a lucky beast 200 xp if you have a starter beast you get 200 xp you don't need it doesn't need to be origin if you have a mythic beast which is not an origin it gives you 200 xp and if you own an origin beast, you do get 200 XP. If you have staking for more than 100 days, you will get 500 XP. Now, the fun hasn't really started yet. If you like the Beast Brawl gameplay, then you go play that and you will be able to earn these badges right here. We also got Ancient Collecting right here. And we also got Kuroto Wilds, which is the other game mode. So the fun hasn't really started. You're still early for this, especially for the free-to-play drop. And if you're getting into the Origin ones, you're also early. This just started like two to three days ago something that you should be aware of is that there's going to be daily quests or weekly quests that you should be looking at so you can get some xp points as you can see i got 75 xp right here and 50 xp for following these instructions right here with a daily quest now ladies and gentlemen this is pretty much it for kuroto beast i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you guys join our discord if you guys want to stay up to date with everything web3 gaming ladies and gentlemen this is the best channel for this much love i'll see you guys next video peace